Hello guys. Yes, you may think, oh my god, is this the most visited cemetery that you've actually met? Yeah, probably, because even I'm actually trying to remember how many times I've visited this cemetery. I think it's I think it's my fourth occasion now, but I literally had to come back here on this trip, even though it's actually been a year since I've last been in Oxford, I know. And that but the reason why we've come here is even though I have documented John Ronald Rule Tolkien's grave many times and in fact it's um what well, yeah I have visited many times and this cemetery ne I've visited nearly every time I've come here but not on my last occasion but the reason why and you've probably seen it in the title is because and it's literally I'm gonna have to get this edited really quickly because I'm here in the latter part of August because many of you guys will know that he died on the 2nd of September 1973 so this is being put out right on the eve of his 50th anniversary so I thought we could, would go and visit him together so come along with me guys thank you very much My God. Oh my God, guys. I was not expecting this. Guys. Let me go sit down here, guys. I think I'm in shock. I know you just saw a brief glimpse of that. I will go back over and that, but seriously, I need to sit for this. In case you didn't get a good enough glimpse for that, and I'm on about that grave, that grey grave there, because it was pretty quick. Basically, if you've watched my channel before, you've seen that that is where um, Tolkien, J.R.R. Tolkien, and the Edith's eldest son, Father John Rule Tolkien, has been buried there since 2003. He's literally like five graves away from his parents although a lot of people have have um often commented on my previous videos that they didn't realize a he was here but b he was so close to them but now i'll have to double check my photographs but it's either that that is the same headstone but it it might have been cleaned maybe but i don't think so somehow but as you, if you saw a good enough glimpse of that, but like I said, I'll go back over. But I'm just so in shock by that, that I've literally just had to come sit on this bench, as you just saw. 
basically, um, the reason why I'm so in shock is because, yeah, Christopher Tolkien, who was the editor of so many of Tolkien's books, he passed away. He lived out in France because his second wife was French. And that, and he passed away. I'll have to go back and look at the year, but it was only a few years ago and that. And of course, as, as you, if anyone looks on findandgrave.com, it says there are no burial details of him on there. We, we knew he was cremated, but we assumed he must have been maybe scattered somewhere in France, you know, because his wife would still be out there. And then, not too long ago, and that, his youngest child, their youngest child, uh, excuse me, oh, hay fever, ugh, and that, getting weepy, oh, jeez, I am getting weepy eyes now, ugh, anywho, sorry guys, um, yeah, she just passed away very recently, they all lived to right old ages, apart from, um, their middle son, he, he lived up in Manchester, but believe me, trying to find where he's, grave is I don't think he's on there but my point is after I've rambled for two and a half minutes here is they've added their names to both of this headstone and the grass has been uprooted so the only thing I could think of and this was what I was hoping but the thing that I'm just surprised at is when I came over here a year ago oh Yeah, it was actually a year ago that I came over here and I did Sir Roger Bannister's um, grave, if anyone's watched that video from here. But now I think about it, because I've been up here so many times, I didn't actually come up this way. I looked over because you could see Tolkien's grave from quite a distance, if you know where to look for. Sorry about the wind, guys. That's why I've just brought the phone nearer to me and that. So it is possible that they might have been marked on there, but after three and a half minutes, essentially, there's me wondering where Tolkien's children have ended up. And it looks like they've all been interred in that one grave here. So let's go back over. This is the first time ever I've had a big shock like this. So yeah, as you can see here, guys, yeah. The ground's all been disturbed so it's not a case of oh maybe their ashes have been put somewhere else and um, but they've put a marker here for them since the rest of the family is no this makes me think they definitely are here or at least you know their ashes are most likely here so in loving memory in loving memory of john francis rule tolkien 1917 to 2003 and Priscilla Mary Ann Rule Tolkien 1929 to 2022 brother and sister of Michael and Christopher an eldest son and only daughter of John Ronald Rule Tolkien and Edith Tolkien nee Brett rest in peace Here you go guys, so as you see there, there in this section, there's the marker and then literally, I think it's five graves down, yep, here's, to here's Tolkien or John and Edith's grave, as you can see, not so much, people don't tend to leave um, oh, what, how cute. Ah, oh, that's sweet. They've left a one ring for them. But yeah, less people leave flowers here now. They tend to plant stuff. Now, I have actually stopped bringing flowers here because they tend to tidy um, them away. But since this is his 60th anniversary, not 60th, 50th anniversary, I thought I would bring a little something for him. So, there we go. Oh, very warm now, I might add. Oh. 
so yeah as you can see this is one grave that is, that is very easy to find because it's very well marked so I seriously can't believe that now looking at the context of um of that headstone it makes me think that actually I mean they've mentioned Christopher and John on there but not in the way that they it feels like they're formally buried there I think I would guess that Christopher's ashes are probably out in France somewhere because he lived there for so many years God <sighs> Yeah, this is a new look, guys. I know. It's literally so bright, I've put my sunglasses on. But you guys can still see me well and that. So, um, but yeah, but looking at the context of that, I think Priscilla is, uh, the fact that they've dug up the whole earth makes me think that she is possibly buried in that, I would guess, which would make sense because I think, I mean, her brother's definitely buried in here and these two, are buried here but they've just added Christopher's name on there as a sort of mention if you know what I mean I mean after all they've mentioned that they're the children of um Tolkien and that also on the headstone so I mean we could sort of say that that's least that's sort of a pilgrim that people could make for Christopher which is a nice nod in this country so yeah Hard to believe that half a century later and he's still visited like now. So thank you very much, guys. Take care. From me, Sharona.